You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, God is doing this because he's trying to show the Hebrew people only through a set of rules are you going to be able to escape because the rules discern who's of me and who is not. I said before, obedience is the key, and those who are not. Receive words from Prophet H. Walker. Let me see the church. Hey man, we've had a good time in church uh, today. Good. And uh, I have a brief thought I want to leave with you. I want to take my main text from 1 Corinthians. Again, chapter 2, uh, verse uh, 12. I want to connect it over in Exodus, the 12th chapter. And the thought I want to again share with you, and I hope everyone here in the way of YouTube will pay close attention. Instructions come 
to unfold something that is desired or needed. Again, if I tell you how to get from here to New Mexico, you have to have a map. But if you can't read the map, it still is no help to you. So then I would have to outline to you through the map, since I understand the map. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible is a book that has to be unfolded to those who seek after righteousness. I thank God that we today have received the Spirit of the Lord, that when God speaks through the Spirit, it is readily received. We're trying to make it from earth to glory. And there is a way to get there. But on the way, praise the Lord, various pitfalls and traps are going to befall those who are disobedient. Now hear me. God's principles are based on right and wrong and obedience to those principles. If a person obeys divine instructions, and divine instructions means instructions come from God. If we learn how to obey those instructions, even though we're in a midst of chaos and confusion that's on this world right now, and catastrophic events more are yet to come, if we learn how to praise God and worship God, He will deliver us even in the midst of the storm. He will deliver us and give us the victory. Yes. Did not the psalmist say, The Lord prepareth a table before me in what? The present. I said you can be in the storms of life, but if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, praise the Lord, He'll give you the victory. This is why we got to rejoice when we come to church and lift up the name of Jesus because the name of Jesus unlocks the faith principle that has enabled us yeah. to receive everything that God intends for us to have. Amen. And all brothers and sisters, hallelujah, the Bible says, I have not seen nor have ear heard the things that God has reserved for us. Right. For them that follow him, them that are faithful to his word. I thank God, hallelujah, that we have received not the spirit of fear, but the spirit, hallelujah, that would enlighten us to give us the unction and the desire not to be like them, but to be like Jesus. I don't want to be like the world. I want to be like Jesus. That's why I can come to church and we can come to church collectively and begin to worship God and praise God and thank God. Sometimes we thank Him for things not yet we see, but it's already in the map. All we got to do is go to the destination and receive it. Yeah. Oh, brothers and sisters here. Right, Sometimes yeah. God speaks and he unfolds things, but you have to realize and you have to stay always aware and always patient for the word of God to come to you that you can receive things that are meant for you. And again, God blessed us and promised more blessings to come in the days ahead. And all you got to do is be steadfast in your resolve and not let the enemy come along and try to steal your faith. Faith is a very important integrity with God. You've got to believe this thing. God will not come down. I've said this a hundred times or more. He will not come down one-on-one -on -one and, and praise God and just talk to you and slap you upside the head. Now, do you see me and do you believe? God does not do it that way. He sends the word. Hallelujah. But you've got to receive the word deep down in your soul. Let me get to my text here. In chapter 2, 1 Corinthians, and, uh, jump right into verse, back up to verse 11. For what man knoweth the things of a man Save the spirit of man which is in him. Now, it, it, Paul is making a, a, a difference between natural and spiritual. Man. A natural man can understand natural things, but it takes a spirit man to understand spiritual things. Praise God. Verse 12. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Now, it says... We receive the Spirit of God that we might receive something. And that are, those can tell the blessings, healings, financial breakthroughs, enemy defeated, enemy made your footstool. When they're plotting and scheming against you, I sit on the job. Hallelujah. He'll bring them down and praise God. Do you know what a footstool is? A footstool is for you to put your feet on. 
Now God is using strong words to try to let you know that your enemy ain't nothing. Yes. Hallelujah. But God is everything. Yes. But we've got to understand this through the spirit of God that comes to indwell in us and unfold hidden things that are in the scripture yes. that only a teacher can give you for you to receive for yourself. Yes. An instruction <clears throat> comes again to give a revelation for something that must be desired Amen. or must be needed. Let me connect this again with Exodus, uh, chapter 12. Jump right in at uh, 12 and 13. Now here we see again, God gives an instruction to his people, again, that must be separated from the Egyptian people. Amen. Though God died for the whole world and God is responsible for all humanity. But only those who have, have purpose in their heart to be separate are going to be the ones who are going to escape. The word of God separates us from those who are yet of the world. This is so important that you understand this. This is why, didn't I Jesus say two can't walk together except they agree? Amen. I've told you in times past, you got to leave people of the world alone. Amen. What I mean, you be courteous, you speak to them, you work with them, you're in the world, but you're not of the world. Yeah. We have to make a desertion between those who are with us, those who are of us, and those who are not. Amen. If God be for you, who can be against you? So what do I need uh, someone in the world? He may have millions of dollars, but if he can't help the kingdom, I don't need him. Right. Hallelujah. I don't need nobody's compliments. What I need you to do is join in with me so that we can pray together and strengthen one another. Amen. God here gives an instruction that many people don't quite know how to understand. Let me break it down again to you. God gives an instruction for someone to obey. Yeah. It's not like God just waves his hand and everything going to be all right. No, the people got to show their faith in God by obedience to our set of rules God has given the people. Amen. Praise God. This sodomite lesbian revolution that's sweeping America, it's got to stop. But it won't stop unless the Christian church joins together under one spiritual leader of prophet in the Lord's house, a final messenger to tell the people what to do. But until the people come together, everything is going to be chaotic. But one thing is for certain, the remnant, the few that escape, are going to find a resting place for them. Oh, hallelujah. Read, though. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you now, are. Now, a token is something that's for something else. In, in this context, the token would be the, the going through all of the details of killing the lamb, taking the blood, and putting it over the doorpost. Yes. Now, that seems so insignificant when you're dealing with a mighty God who would do anything. Now, God is doing this because he's trying to show the Hebrew people only through a set of rules are you going to be able to escape because the rules discern who's of me and who is not. I said before, obedience is the key. And those who will not obey God, I was thinking, praise God, about this Joel Osteen. He said that God condemns homosexuality, but I don't have nothing against it. Wait a you are a preacher yes. of the gospel and God has condemned a, a lifestyle but you as a preacher don't have nothing against it and some of your friends are homosexuals yes. really sodomites and lesbians but he referred to them as homosexuals so I'm saying how can they be friendly with you when they are enemy of God. How dare you say you support Obama when Obama has proven he's an enemy of God. You can't have it both ways, praise the Lord. You either love God or you hate God. You are for God or you're against God. If you're for God, you got to follow after God. Paul said, follow me and I follow Christ. You got to learn. Self-control and self-discipline. Yeah. They've got to lean to your own understanding. Right. Not crave what makes you feel good right. or what you need. Right. It's what the kingdom needs yeah. and what you can give to the kingdom and how God can use the kingdom through you. Yeah. I thank God for those who are continually 
to make sacrifices. Yeah. Hundred dollars again, Elder Lancey. Forty dollars, Elder Galantine. Just gave seven hundred the other day. Forty from Evangelist Wagon. She just gave a thousand the other day. Praise the Lord. Samaya, don't have a job, but she gave five dollars. That's just as much as five hundred. Elder Brooks, praise God, just gave four or five hundred up there. Here's another hundred and ten dollars. Praise the Lord here. Praise God. Who's this? Elder Willis just gave a big donation the other day and another donation here today. He's giving hundred and fifty dollars. I'm saying, brothers and sisters, when you make a sacrifice for the kingdom, you are showing you have separated yourself from the world because you could have took that money and done something else with it. Amen. Hallelujah. You think God don't know that? But here in this text, God is telling the prophet, I want you to tell my people something, and I want to find out who is going to obey me. Now, this particular circumstances deals with life and death. Amen. The kingdom of God and the final principles deal with life and death. Are you going to die and go to a crisis grave? Or are you going to follow the divine instruction and go to heaven and live forever? Amen. Hallelujah. But you say, I can't see heaven and I can't see this great God. But praise God, brothers and sisters, that's what faith is all about. Amen. Faith is one principle. You don't need no evidentiary or factual proof to prove that it's right. Huh? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence. Hallelujah. Factual yeah. of things that are not really factual. Yes. Amen. Oh, praise God. Right. God made it this way. I said on purpose. Yeah. If you believe him, you got to believe his word. You got to believe his prophets. And there's no other way. I'm saying praise God, Joel Osteen. You better hear what I have to say to you because you headed toward destruction yeah. and you are taking multitudes with you and God realizes that you are deceiving multitudes. And I want you to understand one day you got to stand before a holy God and give an account for every soul that you led into destruction. I want you to hear me, Joel Osteen. I want you to hear me, T.D. J. I want you to hear me, Kenneth Copeland. Somebody got to stand up and defend the righteousness of God. How do you know the way you can do it? It's through his book. Amen. Got to have his book. Yes. You got to have his word. Yeah. But you got to believe the word. Amen. What's the sense in having the word if nobody's going to follow the word? We don't. For a token upon the house is where you are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Now notice this very important. We shared it off but what I want you to catch this. Jesus said, when I First person. Yeah. He didn't say when we, uh, on, uh, you know, the rest of the other gods up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said when I, yeah. Yeah. Come on. I see the blood. Yeah. I'm going to pass over. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because death and destruction is on the land. Yeah. When the word of God comes to you, church, you got to understand. You got to be covered by the blood of Jesus. And when God died at Calvary's cross, the shed blood covers those who believe. When you're water baptized in Jesus' name, that means you are covered with the blood of Jesus. And when you receive his spirit, when the word goes forth, you're able to discern what God is saying to the church. I'm trying to let you know when God said, when I see the blood, I'll pass over and no hurt, harm, or danger can come to you or your children or your children. When I see the blood, I'll pass over. Hey. But everybody who's outside the ark of safety, right. everybody who's not covered by the blood. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm saying to those many followers of those false preachers I before mentioned, you need to run in a hurry That's right. and follow me as I follow Christ. You need to run in a hurry and leave those hypocrite preachers alone because it's only through the discernment of the word is anybody going to be able to escape. Yes. And any time a preacher is afraid to preach the word, that preacher needs to put his hand over his mouth, get to the back of the church, and sit down and shut up. Right. 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 Some of my best friends are sodomites and lesbians, yes. and you're supposed to be a preacher. Yes. Shame on you. Amen. And T.D. Jakes ain't no better. Amen. How dare you call Ruth and Naomi lesbians? Amen. Where is your proof? Amen. Show me your Bible proof for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Let every man be a liar. Yeah. 
Yeah. But let God be true. Yeah. And God chose Ruth. And she had to have something in her. My yeah. God, hallelujah. Yeah. That had some strength of character because it was through Ruth that he allowed for the the the, the generations to come down sure and the Christ who would be the redeemer to be born. Yeah. Through Ruth. Check your genealogy and you will find that Ruth was the one who was responsible for the genealogy of David and Jesse. And from that seed came the Christ child. I believe I'm right. So God going to look through the portals of time and pick a lesbian to do his will? Are you serious with me? David, a man after God's own heart. You going to call him a sodomite TDJ because your son is one? Shame on you. Shame on you. Hallelujah. All this wickedness that you see over the pulpits, brothers and sisters, it ain't nothing but something that's been prophesied. God spoke through the prophet Jeremiah. He said, because they would not set in my counsel. Maybe you better get me that. Jeremiah, be the 22nd chapter. Jump right in at verse 20, I believe that's, is that verse 23? Read. I have not sent these prophets. I have not ran. sent these prophets. Yet they ran. But they ran. I have not spoken to them. God ain't spoke to Joel Osteen. That's right. God ain't never spoke to T.D. Jakes. By their fruit you shall know them. Amen. What they preach you shall know them. Yes. Hallelujah. Flying around the skies in Lear jets. Amen. Riding in their Bentleys that they trade in every year. Full name coat for their first ladies. Yes. While people are starving to death right Amen. now. While people are giving their last for the kingdom. Yes. I said I'm God's final messenger. I said I'm the prophet in the Lord's house. And those who will not believe me. Those who will not receive me. Hell be your hope. And I can't make it no plainer. And I'm not going to make it no sweeter. Come on, Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But all these things are revealed through the Spirit of God. And he said in the opening text, I have not given you the Spirit which is of the world, but the Spirit which is of God. That we may what? Know the things. What? Freely give. Freely, Free you have received, freely give. Amen. Ain't no such thing as a $50 prayer line. Amen. Ain't no such thing as you sending a hundred dollars and get that prayer card and that's gonna heal. Yeah. When Simon the magician asked Peter, he said, I want to buy this gift. Yeah. Yeah. Peter said, Your money perished with you, that you thought the gift of God could be purchased with money. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And Simon said, Peter, pray for me that none of these things happen to me. I did not it. But today they do it out of knowledge. That's why God sent me to open up the blinded eyes that they might see the path of righteousness. I thank God for the word today. I thank God for holding it. I thank God, and I say to those who are viewing, we're opening in Atlanta, I believe, in the month of July. Follow me by way of YouTube, and you know the exact date and the exact time, and we're going to congregate together as the remnant church and watch God bless his people. He said so, and I believe the word of God. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. We thank God for the blessed time we had this morning. Thank God for the on fire prophet message. Amen. Thank God for the, the continued blessings, the tithes and offerings still coming in. Amen. Thank God that soon we're going to have Atlanta Church opening up. Amen. Thank God that we're covered by the blood of Jesus. Amen. As the prophet brought on, thank God for the blood, the post, and the covering, and the belief. Amen. Got to have to believe in but thank God for the word. Thank God that once we were not covered, but thank God we can say we're covered by the blood. Amen. Anything try to come, we can say the blood of Jesus. Amen. But thank God for all these he's done and he's going to continue to do. We're going to dismiss, stand and be dismissed, and head forth the mission to have a good, wonderful dinner. Love Talk Radio.